session we're going to discuss line integrals, Green's theorem, and Stokes' theorem. In line integral, we integrate a given function f along a curve c, which is defined by a parametric equation. So this is your parametric equation, uh, vector r, with x, y, z as the components, all expressed in terms of t, the variable t. Okay. So either that is in a plane or in space. An oriented curve C in the XY plane is called the path of integration of a point that moves from the initial point A to B. Okay, so the second figure is a closed close path. So in this case, A is the ter initial point and this is the terminal point. C is a smooth curve if every point in the curve has a unique tangent. It is assumed that every path of integration of a line integral is piecewise smooth, that is, it consists of finitely many smooth curves. So generally, the line integral depends not only on the vector f and on the endpoint of the path, but also on the path itself. A line integral of a vector function f along a curve c is defined as follows. So that would be the dot product, the integral of the dot product of f, which is a function of r, okay, and then the derivative of r. So when you s simplify this, we integrate from A to B okay, uh, along the along the curve C and then we apply the function uh, f of r of t and then get the that product with the first derivative of r and then integrate with respect to t. So note that if a force field is defined, vector f is the force acting on an object and the uh, above integral represents the total work done in moving the object along a curve C. So take note that uh, v vector v is the derivative of r with respect to t. So r is actually uh, the position vector okay and therefore the work done is equal to the integral of f of r dr along c so that is the integral from a to b okay f of r t and then that product with v of t dt and because the first derivative of r is the velocity Now, for the line integrals along a closed path, a parametric uh, curve that begins and ends at the same point is called a closed curve. So, this is a closed curve. The domain is connected with if any points in D can be joined by some smooth curve that is contained entirely of D. So, this one is co connected domain or region. This one is not connected. Now, let's consider the line integrals along a closed path. So, given a vector f, okay, this is in two, uh, two, dimen uh, two dimension, or this is a two-dimensional vector. That is a field on some connected domain D. So, f and 1 are continuous functions on D. Then, the following statements are equivalent. So, the first partial derivative of f1 which is with respect to y is equal to the first partial derivative of f2 with respect to x and then the 
dot product is dot product the integral of the dot product is equal to 0 for every smooth flow squared AB okay and this is independent of the path from any point A in D to any point B in D for every smooth curve in D let's have an example okay uh, evaluate the line integral given your f of r okay which is uh, two dimensional and then c is a circular arc in the first quadrant with center at the origin and one unit radius Now, C can be represented by the parametric equation. So, this is a circle whose center is at the origin and then the radius is 1 unit. So, this is the parametric equation equivalent no, for the circle. Uh, okay. X squared plus y squared equals equals 1 and then since this is in the first quadrant okay this is your circle it's in the first quadrant so your uh, t here should be from 0 to pi over 2 Okay, the, and then we get the first derivative, so this is negative sine t, this is cosine t. And then your f, f of r will be uh, obtained by replacing, okay, x by cosine t and then your y by sine t. So if you have negative y here, we get negative sine t and then neg your x is cosine t so we have negative cosine t multiplied by y which is sine t so this is your f of r okay then we apply the line integral so we integrate so this uh this integ integral is now converted to an integral involving the parametric uh, variable which is t so we now integrate with respect to t your interval will be from 0 to pi over 2 okay and then your f of rt uh, is negative sine t i minus cosine t sine t j that product with the first derivative this is the first derivative okay and then take note that this is uh, that product so we just multiply the uh, or they get the sum the sum of the products of the respective components so negative sine t times negative sine t okay will give you uh, okay negative uh, I check this one okay so th this this has to be positive okay positive sine squared t and then for the second component you have cos sine squared t okay multiplied by sine t okay. ah wait this is oh yes so, and then we integrate from 0 to pi over 2 okay so t ah, no no more j no more j here no more j here. So this is now scalar, and then you may use your calculator, and you should get point four five two one. Okay. Now the Green's theorem transforms double integral over a plane region into line integrals over the boundary of the region and conversely. So d is a closed bounded region in the xy plane with boundary uh, c and then f1 f2 are two functions that are continuous and have continuous partial derivatives everywhere in the domain containing d then uh, d 
this expression holds okay so you have a double integral converted into uh, a line integral 